Hi, everyone. I'm here with Dawn O'Reilly. She is a medical science liaison with Biodesix. She's also a PhD and a certified physician assistant. Uh, and I'm going to ask her some questions about the medical science liaison role so that she can help inform others on what the position is and why it might be good for clinicians such as physician assistants and nurse practitioners. Hi, Dawn. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, hey Tom. Thanks for having me. So real quick, can you just define, like, what's the definition of a medical science liaison? Yeah, sure. So um, medical science liaisons, um, they are scientific experts in a particular field, um, whether it be pharmaceuticals, biotechnology, diagnostics, or medical devices. Um, the main role of MSL is to serve as that scientific conduit of information for physicians and other customers. Um, and it's a two-way road. So it's about bringing those insights back to the physician, from the physicians to the company, um, to the customers in the company. And you know, some of the company, some other MSLs also in companies may work co in collaboration with other departments, such as marketing, um, commercial, and even clinical trials. So there's a lot of um, variability, um, but that's really what MSLs do. Awesome. What would be like a normal day in the life of an MSL? If you had to just add a little bit more to their responsibilities, what would that look like? Yeah, so um, the day in the life of MSL, um, it depends. It varies day by day. Um, some days are busier than others. Um, some days you're frequently traveling, um, engaging with um, some of the customer interactions, um, you know, the key opinion leaders, as we call it. Um, some days you could be at a conference several days in a row, um, attending the conferences, engaging with the doctors there, hearing their talks, um, preparing your insights, and bringing them back to your company. Um, other days you could be at home doing the more administrative work, um, emailing, reading a lot of journal articles, keeping up with that. Um, preparing for your next meetings, um, working together with some of the other departments of the company as well. Um, lots of variability in your day for sure. Awesome. That's really helpful. And then what if a healthcare um, provider, practitioner, or a KOL wants to request a meeting with an MSL? How do they go about doing that? Yeah, sure. So I've done this before when I was in medicine. Um, so one of the ways um, is to contact the organization of whatever you're looking at, AstraZeneca or whoever, um, contact that medical information line, um, ask the sales rep. Um, the other option is if the sales reps are coming to you on a routine basis, ask them if they know who is the MSL and can they come visit you. Um, there's also something that you can do where you put in what's called a medical information request or um, MRF form. Um, and that can also um, get a request to have an MSL come um, talk to you more about um, the research and, and the company products. And last question. So I know you transitioned from being a clinician to an MSL. How has that been for you? Oh, man, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, there is so much to learn. I am loving it. Um, you know, like I said, or like you said in the beginning, I do have a PhD and a PA in the, from my background. And so I feel like it's blending the both together. I don't think you need the PhD at all, um, but it's it's been awesome. I really, really am grateful here. Well, thanks for joining me. I think that you're on your way to a great career and good luck to you. Thank you.